How does one choose to hire the right person slowly and fire the wrong person quickly? Well, let me tell you how in this video. Let's make a right left. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What's up, good people? I am Thomas J. Belizeth. Thank you for coming to my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, then subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. The mantra, fire quickly, hire slowly, is not to be taken literally to spend months and months and months in hiring the right people or simply firing someone out of a quick knee-jerk reaction. And remember, even as an entertainer, you're an entrepreneur in the entertainment business. The construction of your team is critical to the evolution of your career. Keep in mind, this fits well with your circle of influence. Aside from having great chemistry, your team also helps you fine tune decisions and thus hiring poorly can backstep everything. Here are a few key points to take note of and stay till the end of the video for a helpful tip. It's not about filling spots quickly. It's about having the right people around you. Hiring quickly could, well, you know, lead to people that aren't working on all cylinders, I'm just saying. Rushing to fill up those spots cause mistakes on your end. And you have to think it's always going to be critical that these people that you're interested in hiring get along with you and your team. For example, think about what you want, the traits of the person you're interested in hiring. If you want confidence, mm -hmm, yes, don't hire me. Unless the person who is meek has other qualities that you are searching for. Say, I don't know, this person who's meek is just a master of brainstorming or a genius with computer network. And the good news is you should and could meet all the people you want and interview them. In fact, if there's just the slightest bit of interest in them, maybe hang out with them. After the interview, be like, hey, just so you know, a couple of guys from the company are going to go out to blah, blah, blah. You're more than welcome to show up and hang out. Get to know you. Because overall, you should be vetting them if you like them. It's your company. It's your career. The people that are going to be around you to do things. That's up to you. But overall, if your gut, that you should be trusting your gut instincts, is telling you to move on, then do so. Don't waste any time. Your team is everything. Even if it's a team of friends, no drama. Who you work with creates opportunity for your career and their careers. Because I always say it at the end of every video, you gotta work together so you can grow together and therefore rise together. But you wanna be surrounded by people that are influential to their own lives, meaning they succeed on their actions. They are inspirational. They have motivation. They have higher, stronger qualities that inspire you. And no matter what, friends or not, drama goes in the garbage. And I mention your gut instinct because you should trust your gut. And if you do hire somebody and they are no longer a good fit, fire them. And you know what? It might actually be six weeks too late at that. So pull the bandaid off and let them go. Obviously be nice about it because rule number one about success is be nice to everybody. You never know who someone is or who someone knows but you have to be nice sincerely. So even when you're letting someone go, obviously you should feel bad, but they're not right for the company. They're not right for your career. You don't just keep a broken cog and a watch in there just because you have sentimental value to its existence. If it's broke, it's broke. The time won't continue if you leave the broken cog. That doesn't mean you can't still be nice to that cog. Because believe it or not, holding on to them because your friends can actually do more damage to that friendship by holding on to them than letting them go. And it happens all the time. You might get along as friends. You might really like each other. And you might just have these amazing, great conversations and you have a lot of the same interests. But for some reason, working together, you have different goals, desires, maybe even different work ethics. That doesn't mean you can't be friends. And that doesn't mean that you're not compatible. It just means you're really not working well together, which are two different worlds. So personally, I would say save that friendship and fill that spot sooner than later. Because animosity over time could potentially 
poison the rest of the team. And that poison will affect when you meet people through a third party or yourself, they will see the dark cloud. And remember, your team is only as strong as your weakest link. Help what if you're not good with your gut? Maybe you have trouble reading people. Well, maybe you have a strong gut which has served you well. And you know what? You can read people like a book, but you don't like hurting people's feelings and you're a little weary of confrontation. A solution is to create very clear expectations with your team members. What do you want from them and what do they want from you? Even take the time to write a plan to follow. When it comes down to it, if they're not pulling their weight or following the mission statements, well, that sounds like a pretty easy, hey, I don't think this is working out for either of us. Know what you want and know what they want so you can have a cohesive working relationship because you might get to the point where you say, hey, listen, these were our goals and uh, we're not really hitting them and you're sort of more interested in this and I'm more interested in that. Why don't we just part ways? Or uh, maybe if you really, really believe in each other and you want to keep working and you don't really have a disconnect personally with your personalities, uh, you might say to yourself, well, let's reorganize our mission statement and see where we want to go from here. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share, along with subscribing for future content. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you because you want to work together, you want to grow together, and you want to rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you, punk? Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Yeah. Oh dear.